All right, so what we're going to do now is look at the stock market, and we're going to focus on the NASDAQ, the, the weekly and daily, and I'm going to look at our level four uh, proprietary charts in order to do this. Um, our level four members get these charts live for the Thinkorswim platform. Uh, you would have to have a TDA account, which you can open through our site, and also um, then you would upload all of this work uh, onto the Thinkorswim platform. So uh, I'm going to switch over now and look at the uh, uh, the charts for the NASDAQ. This has our cycle analysis here on the NASDAQ. And of course, we've been having a fairly large decline. The market tried to rebound and then it turned down again. Now, there are three components to the work I'm going to show you and that to the work that you have seen uh, illustrated in this show uh, by RV and by Katie and by me. Um, and I'm going to continue those lessons right now. So psychoanalysis uh, is uh, a, a, a objective uh, and uh, a observational way to look at the market. These are cycle brackets on the bottom and they are simply tools, uh, a drawing tool that helps us recognize the movements in the market. The lows don't always line up perfectly. There is variance in the movement and we use the actual movement to help us see what's going on. You can see in here, uh, going back way uh, into this huge pandemic rally that was going on uh, as the Fed was pouring money everywhere and the government spending money everywhere uh, and the market had a massive gain in here. Now, looking at these three core components of our analysis, cycle analysis, momentum analysis, and support resistance projection targeting, all of that helps us see the conditions of the market. Positive cycle, positive momentum, small uh, decline through this period, and then uh, when the momentum turns up again, another big decline. The same thing here and another big advance following that decline. These, these declines in here are very small, right here, here, and here. And all of this is configured bullishly. Each higher high and higher low says that the market is very likely to resume in a positive way on the upside. When it made this high, hit, hitting that target zone right up over there, and then declined below this cycle low right here, it sets up what's called as a negative configuration. This shows a lot of downward energy. You can see where this red arrow is, uh, and I'm going to zoom in here so you can get a better look at that, where that red arrow is. Uh, that the uh, Let me just get all of this so you can see it clearly. I'm just going to grab this. Okay, so it got up right over here, hit that target zone, and where momentum turned negative, where that red arrow is, the market started to go down. It broke this key cycle low and it put the market in a negative configuration. It rallied up to resistance. We thought the market would rally, pull back, and then rally back up and test this area out over here. That was always our analysis from the beginning of the year. Now what's happened is that this minor cycle has turned down and taken out this low right there. When that happens, the probabilities are high that the next rally and the next minor cycle will fail in this resistance zone and that's why it's labeled as a sell zone. We expect that this big decline that's going on here on Friday will carry sometime into early next week and I'll show you on the short-term charts why that's the case and then move up in here and then uh, over we'll say somewhere around four to six weeks get up maybe into May early June and then begin to move down again. And right over here is a big potential downside wave and another one right there. And as you can see in here, the projection is to get down to somewhere near those 35% uh, uh, decline, that bear market, or the major 61.8%. The, uh, the, uh, for our members, uh, our members received a slight revision uh, uh, on the charts as these cycles tightened up a little bit. And instead of projecting uh, September, November, we're now projecting August, October for this decline right over here. It was a slight revision uh, as these patterns are tightening up a little bit. So 
uh, first minor cycle, second minor cycle, third minor cycle, potentially uh, best case may be down here to 11.7. Uh, uh, this is more like uh, under 11,000 uh, in the NASDAQ here. And uh, you can see in here this downward channel, the negative one, two, three, and now four negative minor cycles in a row and very likely to see two more negative cycles right over here in this phase of the bear market that we see here in stocks. Let's take a look at shorter time frames in here and look at this absolutely gorgeous pattern in here where you could see the rhythms in the market on the daily chart. So here is uh, a what we call a full harmonic family made up of one, two, and three minor cycles. One, two, and the third minor cycle bottoming over here these next few days. This is why I say to you, in alignment with that low that's due on the weekly chart, that it's very likely that sometime uh, between, uh, let's say, Monday and Wednesday of next week, maybe a little later, this low will form, the market will go into a rally. If it gets below here, these resistance zones will get lower. So the it makes sense that the NASDAQ will be able to rally up to about 13.8 to let's say 14.1 uh, over this next period in here. Again, remember we said out into May, maybe early June. This is that alignment right here and then the big drop happening again. So this is that window. And if you're a bull and you see the market rallying, as I said in the beginning of the show, you could get hooked right here because the risks are extremely high of another big drop. So it says that a low coming probably in the next few days, that will be a short-term low and then a rally that is very likely to fail, followed by another big, dec big decline. I want you to see right over here that uh, we have uh, this indicator that I'm highlighting, the option bias study. We developed this indicator for option traders. Uh, and uh, to tell them when conditions are such that they need to bias their position in one direction or the other. Through these whole periods right in here, it was negative. There were a few periods where it got extreme oversold, and that gave little bottom warnings, and you can see how the market got bounces after that. It went positive right here, and you could be in a bias there. This would have trapped you a little bit as it then turned neutral, but then right over here, it gave you that negative signal again where you needed to bias your option positions to the short side that will keep you from getting run over by momentum. So that's a look at the, uh, at the proprietary level four study, the option bias indicator. Let's go to the next chart, and this is the slim ribbon and slim ribbon PO. This tells you when the momentum conditions are negative, and you can see in here when these negative conditions were negative, going way back over here, starting the beginning of the year. And uh, all of these signals right over here are momentum resumption signals. They were really positive over here when the big rally going on. Here you could see what happened was that rebound came in the stock market. You got positive for a brief period of time as the market was trying to go up. It neutralized right here on this date, warning you that the upside momentum had ended. Here's where it said to you there's trouble, and here's where it, where it warned you of downside resumption, and of course the market moved down very significantly. The slim ribbon right over here is available to everybody for free. If you have a thinkorswim platform, you can just go to our website, get the script for it, and download it onto uh, Thinkorswim, TD Ameritrade. They're our preferred broker, uh, so you can get that. The Slim Ribbon PO is a proprietary indicator, only available to Level 4 members, again, for the Thinkorswim platform. Let's look a little deeper, and here is the two-hour chart, and this two-hour chart has on it another proprietary indicator, as you can see right over here. This is the Aslim MCI, Market Condition Indicator. This is a, an indicator that goes from 100 to minus 100. These middle lines at 25 and minus 25 are called the swing zone. When it tries to move here out of the swing zone and then crosses back under it, it's failed and negative. 
and you could see the numbers right in here getting down right now to really minus 98, minus 97. Those people that are using our market monitor can see these numbers on there and all of our proprietary indicators for level four. And you can see in here what's essentially happened is that this got essentially bad. When it failed right over here and warned you negative, the market was way up over here in the NASDAQ at about 14.2. And then, of course, falls all the way down here under 13,000. This is a two-hour chart, as you can see, and really helps fine-tune for shorter-term traders. It's turned negative right in here when you look at the slim ribbon. And now it's neutral right here as the market had that rebound and is beginning to come down. This actually looks like it's going to turn negative again and maybe give a warning for the next few days in there. But overall, these are all very negative indicators. What I showed you is a cycle analysis, uh, which is clearly negative on all time frames. Our momentum analysis, which is negative on all time frames except neutral on the two hour chart and maybe turning negative and all of our support resistance levels and projection targeting that we do and all of this is quite a negative picture a low due in the next few days an attempted rally hopefully into the sell zone so we get to sell and then big declines coming after that that is a look at our analysis uh, for the stock market